Hey guys, um, I'm sitting here looking at my cheeks. I don't know why they look so red. It must be the lighting in this van. Anyway, so here I am. I just want to be honest with you guys. I want to be real with you. You know, I, I want to be the best wife and the best mom that I can be. But, you know, there's times that we fail. There's times that we struggle. We go through seasons that are just painful and we really wish that they would go by quicker. And there's other times we just, you know, want to push pause and just kind of linger in those moments. And, you know, I did not realize until here recently that it really is the enemy that I'm fighting against. My family's not the enemy. It's not my husband. It's not my kids. It's not any situation that I'm faced with. It's Satan. It's the enemy. He is the enemy of my soul. He hates me with the passion because I'm a daughter of the king and he just wants to mess me up. And that's what he does, guys. He comes in and he disguises himself as your husband's dirty socks laying beside the hamper or your kids, you know, muddy feet that have gone across the carpet that you've told them a million times not to do. He comes in and he disguises himself and he really messes us up. And I just want to share with you guys a little bit of my heart. Um, I don't have a whole lot of memory left on my phone, so I've got to make it quick. But um, hear me out. So I've been praying for wisdom. I've been asking God for wisdom. James 1 5 says, if anybody's lacking wisdom, let him ask God. Well, the next verse basically goes into saying, you know, you need to ask it and believe it and not waver in that because then you're double minded. So yesterday, I'm telling you guys, it clicked for me like a light bulb. It clicked on how we need to pray for wisdom and ask God, ask him for wisdom and trust that he hears us. I've been reading in Exodus and um, Genesis and Exodus and how, you know, the children of Israel were crying out to God and God says that he heard them in their affliction and that's why he sent Moses. Sorry guys, I'm talking so fast. I'm so excited. God heard him in their affliction. So he sent Moses to redeem them, to rescue them out of their captivity. Well, God hears us guys. He hears us when we cry out to him, whatever the situation is. For me, it's been with my parenting. I've really struggled since we've moved back to Danville. The enemy's really been hot on my tail and I've just realized it lately that it is him I'm fighting against. Read a really cool um, article. Check it out on my Facebook page. It's also on my blog, uh, Life Unscripted Ministries Facebook page on how the enemy works. And it, I mean, just totally to a T what I was dealing with. But I was reading in Proverbs yesterday and I, I think it's Proverbs chapter two. I don't have my Bible on me. I left it upstairs at work. And, um, but I was reading it and it talks about how, um, you know, we're praying for wisdom and then we gain understanding and then we apply the knowledge. And I've got so many highlights and circled spots in there because we can't just pray for wisdom and think it's going to be there. If you don't study for that math test, you're going to flunk it. You're not going to pass it. There's no way around it. You're going to, you're going to fail it. We have to pray for wisdom and then we have got to apply ourselves to gain and dig for that understanding and to get that knowledge. So I, it hit me yesterday. If I want to be a good mom, I've got to study on how to be a good mom. That means read my Bible, stay in, maintain my prayer life, my walk with God, and study in other resources. Yesterday I was on Pinterest for a while and I, and I saw so many awesome resources on dealing with tantrums and how to fix heart boo-boos. I mean, I've, I've pinned a lot of stuff on Pinterest, so if you guys follow me, um, Brittany Nick Jones on Pinterest. But I mean, guys, we've got to, we've got to take the bull by the horns. Um, I, I've never seen the movie Stella, uh, Stella Gets Her Groove Back, but I feel like I'm getting my groove back as a mother. I feel like I'm finally taking an authority as the mother that God has called me to be. I've grabbed the bull by the horns and I'm ready to do this thing. I'm ready to do it right because for so long I've been doing it wrong and just thinking it's okay and it's not. We've got one shot to, to make an impact in our kids' lives and I've got to go back in um, off my lunch break, but I just want to encourage you guys today. If you're if you're studying to be a pharmacist, you apply yourself and you study. If you're if you're studying for something, you apply yourself. We've got to apply ourselves as parents and kick these distractions to the curb. If that means turning your phone off, putting your tablet in the bedroom, do whatever you got to do, and make time to study and apply yourselves to be the best mother and father that you can be, best husband and wife that you can be. Love you guys. Be encouraged. Share if you're encouraged. Um, check out my Life Unscripted page um, on Facebook, Life Unscripted Ministries. You can also find me at lifeunscriptedministries.org. And uh, Penny Barty and I have a new page called um, Accountability 2016, where every day we're bringing the Word of God to you and some insight from the Word of God and uh, uh, committing to each other to read the Bible through this year. Love you guys.